slide the bag off. We're going to disconnect the safety cable. Bring the electrical out here as well. Okay, so we're going to install the crossbar style. This is a dashboard style. There is a cam lock on there. You're going to have it start at 90 degrees. Push in. This is a spring loaded here. So you're going to push in and turn it 90 degrees so it locks into position. We're going to do the same thing on the passenger side. Start it at 90 degrees. It is spring loaded. Now we're going to lock that into position there. We're going to get the crossbar, put the crossbar on it. Go ahead and install the crossbar. Sometimes it'll sit like that. All you need to do is jiggle it just a little bit. It should drop into position. Go ahead and take your pins here so you can lock this in. Do the same thing on the passenger side. You're going to bring your tow bar up 90 degrees. There is a locking mechanism right here to make it so your bar doesn't just flop down, okay? A uh, good thing about this, you do not want to sto store your bar straight up and down, because if you do, once this thing gets worn in, it's just gonna flop down and it could bend your product. Go ahead and release that, bring this down. Now, if you just let this drop, it will drop and hit the ground. You definitely don't want that. Go ahead and spread the arms open a little bit. On this, you have nuts on one side, you have Allen head on the other side. There is a shaft that goes through this as well. We'd like nuts facing down. That way, if this ever comes loose, you're still gonna have a shaft going through that so this does not come disconnected. So we're gonna go ahead and release the clip here. Pull this out. Go ahead and pull your base pin out. Bring this guy up a little bit. Make sure that's aligned there pretty good there. Go ahead and put your base pin in making sure that your holes are lined up here. Go ahead and take your pin and clip that into position. We're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing on the driver's side. The locking pin up, pull that out, pull your base pin out. And once again, there's nuts on this side and a Allen on this side. There is a shaft that goes all the way through. We like to have the nut side facing down. I usually hold the bar up with my knee that way it, help, it helps me a little bit with moving it up and down if I need to. Go ahead and slide that in there. Make sure that the holes are lined up so you can put your pin through it. Go ahead and put your pin in. Flip that over so that locks into position. Next, we're gonna hook your safety cables up. The safety cables are gonna go to the safety cable anchor. Go ahead and get that hooked up there. Make sure that's nice and secure. Make sure that that is clipped in there as well. We're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. Go ahead and make sure that's in there. It's nice and secure. And the next part is going to be your electrical cable. If you take a look at your electrical cable, you have two screws here, okay? We want screw side facing the ground. There is a notch on that as well. Um, if you look at your Six way here, there's a notch on the bottom as well as the top. You want the notch facing up. You're gonna put that in there, push that in there nice and secure, and go ahead and let the lid down. Okay, you have your breakaway. What this does is if this pin ever gets pulled out, it activates the braking system that we installed in the towed vehicle. It does take 40 pounds of pressure to pull that pin out. Go ahead and take your safety cable. You're going to bring all the way over to where you are going to go through here. Then you are going to hook this to itself. Make sure that's on there nice and secure. Vehicle is all hooked up.